Hi Scorpio, I hope you guys are doing great. Sorry for the truck going by. Um, my apologies for being away for a while. Life has been busy. Um, yeah, these are messages for you. They're general. And um, yeah, sun rising, moon, Scorpios for sure. If you're a cross watcher, this may resonate as well. So take what does, leave the rest. Let's get into it, okay? Um, Scorpio, your oracle card is time for a nap. Time for a nap. And then you also have, I'm reading past, present, future, but this just kind of feels like one message, honestly. It's the um, Three of Swords in your past, the Empress in your present, and the Knight of Swords in your future. Um, Scorpio, it feels here that you are in a period of rejuvenation. You're in a period of putting yourself <laughs> under glass. Maybe that's not the right term. Um, you're, you're, you're kind of preserving yourself at this time, Scorpio, is what it feels like. It feels like in the past you may have dealt with a little bit of heaviness through relationship issues, woes, whatever it may have been. Um, it feels like your priority at this time is to just pay attention to your own life. If you're a parent or a mother, it's about taking care of your family, your situations, and really just harnessing your energy and efforts towards yourself and the ones that are closest for you. Um, I feel for some of you, <clears throat> I mean, you could have a partnership, but for those of you who are not in a partnership, I feel you're really focusing your energy on yourself at this time. Um, I feel like the heartache that you may have experienced in the past, yes, it may be prominent in your life and it may have just kind of caused you to remove yourself from situations, but I don't feel like you're holding on to it to such a degree that you're debilitated. I don't feel like you're letting it get in the way of life and you continuing on the path of your own pursuits and your personal direction. I feel if anything, whatever this connection from your past or heartache or whatever it is, it made you a stronger person. It solidified who you are to yourself in a lot of ways. And if that hasn't happened yet, I feel it's going to. Um, I feel that this puts you in a position of being far more self, uh, self-serving self in a healthy way, but also there's a certain level of selective energy in how much you give to people. And wh again, what is most necessary for you to uh, give to those who are closest to you that rely on you at this time? Um, for some of you, this can also be if you're a, a you know, an entrepreneur or whatever, it's just really paying attention to the things that are most important to your current situations. Um, just because there's a lot of positivity and a lot of abundance is happening for you in your life at this time. And for some of you too, in the past, there may have been this heaviness and it's like your position now moving forward. I feel that you have a, a shift in your abundance. There's a positivity here that you're in, engaging in. And I feel it feels so much better than where you were. I feel it feels so much better and it just puts you in a better sense of self and personal sense of stability. It's like you rely on yourself for what is necessary. And I feel like that's important. Um, sometimes we get to learn that, you know, yeah, we want to rely on people and we want to give them the opportunity to show that they are reliable. But sometimes that doesn't happen, you know, and it feels almost as if like moving forward here, Scorpio you do have communication coming in and you do have communication coming in that almost feels fumbled. So then, and it's, it comes in and it feels like it comes in an inopportune time or where you're really not focused on it, but now you get to hear it. Okay. Um, doesn't have to just be romantically connected to you. This could be information about a business coming in or like a new opportunity within a business where it's like you're getting new clientele or there may be a shift in something going forward. But for some of you, this feels like a connection here. Um, if you are married or partnered, it feels like there's been some heaviness in your connection that you've kind of had to just kind of yeah, I'm still in the relationship. We're still taking care of our kids or whatever, keeping down the home. But I've had to kind of pull my energy back here and observe, you know, or titrate the amount of attention I give to a partner here, um, you know, and just really make do on what is necessary to keep this ship afloat. 
okay um and you may have a communication with a partner where it's like there's things getting changed or you know we're we're kind of reframing how we need to restructure something if you're completely single i feel you're going to be engaging in a communication with somebody possibly from your past um we'll see though so show me the three of swords okay you have the world coming out in reverse here scorpio with the three of swords um bottom of the deck the empress so yeah i mean this energy with the the um three of swords the world in reverse this can talk about situations um, that may have needed to end or be dispersed and they were held on to um, situations where it's like maybe you tried one or two times before and you tried to make a situation come alive or, you know, uh, resurrect. And it felt like it probably was on your shoulders. And the reason I'm saying that is because you show up as the Empress twice here. Scorpio. And so whatever you've got going on in your life, you show up as somebody who is uh, effective in your life. You show up as somebody who is sought after. Um, and while you can kiss boo-boos and make them better, and while you can offer opportunities to people to make things better, if they take them and they do nothing with them, then it's squandered. And I feel here there may have been even up to one, two, three times or maybe you gave somebody a chance. And I think each time you grew in a different way. And here, nothing changed. You know, if anything, the world here in reverse for our past energy here, it's saying that we repeated the cycles. We didn't, you know, things didn't move forward in a way that could be um, representative of the empress and so when we're dealing with situations that show up in our lives with people who want from us and they see that we can take care of them you know uh it leaves us in a pretty weird situation just because it's like well do they want me or do they want me for what i can provide for them you know, and I feel here you have a fair understanding of what that looks like, especially here, because it almost feels like this person couldn't match your energy in the past. And no matter how many times you tried, I feel like we tried at least three times, you know, maybe not so many, but it feels like we tried. We tried with situations where it's like somebody's life is kind of coming apart and we try to be supportive or we try to be helpful. And it's like things aren't, you know piecing together somebody's not doing the work can you show me the empress wow you have the three of swords here um you know some of you this may be a little bit heavier than you're leading on to let it be like or like you're you're seeming like you're probably fine but there's something here where it does hurt you know, you're still in the pain of it. Um, but it also is something that isn't going to completely cloud your direction. It's like you're still learning from it. You're still experiencing the discomfort. Possibly a person coming back into your life maybe reignites the pain as well. So just be mindful of that, you know. Let's show me the uh, Knight of Swords, please. The Magician coming with the Knight of Swords. So yeah, there may be somebody here. Um, and there we have you again, Scorpio, the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Um, you show up here in a very powerful energy. And I feel that somebody here is knowing that they need to match the energy that, <laughs> that they didn't in the past. And I feel that that's something that is important for them to kind of, um, I feel share with you or present to you. I feel like this person recognizes where they may have fallen short in the past, perhaps even a couple of times. And this is almost as if we want to like reclaim it here. Yeah, somebody wants to have like better communication, a better success energy with you here. The only thing about the magician is that sometimes you can be a little bit manipulative. Show me one more for the magician, please. That's too many. One. So we've got the moon coming through here. 
um, bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody may see you as very stable. I mean, it's not uh, it's not um, out of the question to see the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles together in a reading, just because it it, it no it indicates that you are somebody that has that in their future, who is on that path. The, you're you're substantial. You are long lasting. You're dedicated in your life, and it shows. You know, it's like you're somebody that shows up and good things happen. You're somebody that is seen as powerful and I feel that this person feels that but I also feel like this person wants to get closer to you potentially for other reasons it feels here that you provide a sense of stability that this person lacks to generate on their own Scorpio and it feels here that there's an energy where it's like they want to be part of your um part of your energy yeah you have financial issues poor financial choices obsessions with money somebody isn't telling the truth you got liar um yeah and then bottom of the deck predator i feel here scorpio that you may be dealing with somebody who has ulterior motives when it comes to what they want and that ten of pentacles is there i feel like you will get some communication but you're going to have to read between the lines and you're also going to have to listen to your heart right and you got the three of swords and the three of swords so it's the six of swords that's moving away from difficult situations that provide you no you know peace so be mindful of that scorpio just because it feels like you will get communication but it again i'm hearing fumbled there's something that either somebody fumbled or the way that they communicate will be in like a fumbled way um I feel like this person's going to come off as peaceful or calm, but like there's something that you're going to pick up on here, Scorpio. Um, and I feel you're going to pay attention to what has already happened in the past. When people show you who they are, just pay attention to it the first time. I feel here that you've given somebody chances and I feel here it may have, you know, hurt you a bit, but that also makes you stronger and um, you can see people for who they are, you know, especially if you ask them questions. How are you? How are you holding yourself together? Where are you at in your life? How are you affording this place? Are you living here? Did you move? Why did you move? Oh, you had to get rid of your car. You know, what? Wh where are they coming from? Because I feel here when you start asking questions, you know, to the things that they're not talking about, you're going to get a lot of um, answers that they may not verbally express, but you're going to know. Um, so pay attention to that because the moon also indicates where you get to apply your psychic knowledge. It's trusting that, but here we almost have somebody that's motivated uh, because they may be lacking financially and they see you as a, uh, <laughs> they see you as somebody that's positive to be around. It's, it's the same thing that they saw in the past, but they can't match the energy. If they were showing up as the emperor, I'd say, yeah, but they're not. They're just showing up as the knight of swords and um, kind of a uh, wibbly wobbly magician here who's out of balance within their own life. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope that this is helpful. Keep doing you. Keep keep being steady in your life, Scorpio. I feel that you're in a position right now where things are growing and things are building. And this is also for you too. You have the Empress here twice and the Ten of Pentacles in this reading. So it does say your life is getting better. Your life is balancing out and you're also on the path to opportunities that you can build from and build towards and solidify your life and stabilize things in a, in a better way. Um, and that doesn't need to be taken away from you by people who are floundering in their lives, who are upset because they aren't where you're at but trying to get to where you're at by taking from you. This isn't about you being siphoned from. This is about you meeting people who are also steady and, um, you know, together, together with themselves. Here, I feel like you're going to be dealing with somebody who's very out of sorts and they present otherwise, but um, just be mindful, okay? I love you guys. I hope that this is helpful. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Scorps.